drunk driving, nationwide scandals, and murder convictions. These soap opera stars had legal battles even more dramatic than the shows they acted in. Brenda Dixon starred as Jill Abbott on The Young and the Restless from 1973 to 1980 and reprised the role from 1983 to 1987. Though she hadn't been on the show for two decades, Dixon still made headlines when news surfaced that she had been arrested in Hawaii on February 6, 2007 for civil contempt of court order following her divorce. Dixon had been married to lawyer Jan Weinberg from 1997 and 2006, and they still lived in Hawaii together. Dixon had hoped to be awarded the pair's apartment in Los Angeles and $14,000 a month in alimony as part of the settlement. But the judge ruled that Dixon didn't need spousal support, and the pair would sell their home and split the money. Despite that ruling, Dixon refused to leave their condo in Los Angeles, and Weinberg later said he was unable to sell it because she wouldn't vacate the premises. A circus. I left town in order not to subject myself to the type of I would call it humiliation and degradation of having to deal with these court proceedings. Dixon was found in contempt of court, which led to her detainment until she chose to follow the judge's orders. She was in jail for three months. Many soap fans are more than familiar with the name and face of Tyler Christopher, who starred on both General Hospital and Days of Our Lives. He was arrested in November 2019 for public intoxication and was held behind bars for $225 cash and a $1,000 bond. According to TMZ, it's believed that Christopher was arrested while celebrating his 47th birthday. Reportedly, an Uber driver called authorities after the actor passed out and soiled himself in the car. He was also apparently drinking while in the car before he passed out. This was the ninth phone call that police had received about Christopher being intoxicated, and police had held him for excessive drinking only days before his arrest. Christopher ultimately pleaded guilty and was ordered to pay $220 and additional court fees. According to Indy Star, his 16-day jail sentence was suspended as long as he paid the fines. Days of Our Lives star Casey Allen Moss made headlines in October 2015 when he was arrested at a hotel bar in Scottsdale, Arizona. According to AZ Central, Moss was arrested after midnight when he attempted to get into a physical altercation with a bartender working at the hotel. Moss was drinking at the W Hotel when the offense occurred. Witnesses explained that the actor became angry after he was told he could no longer drink, and he tried to physically assault the bartender serving him. And, and tell me, why do you even care? As a friend tried to hold him back, Moss swung at the bartender but missed. He then pushed someone else who worked at the hotel before being restrained by a bouncer. The staff called the police and held Moss until the authorities arrived to arrest him. The actor was ultimately charged with assault, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. In May 2020, Vampire Diaries star Zach Rorick was stopped and booked for driving under the influence. People reported that Rorick was initially stopped in his hometown in Ohio because the car he was driving didn't have a front license plate, and the arresting authorities soon realized the conditions under which Rorick was operating the vehicle. The actor faced a first-degree misdemeanor for the transgression. TMZ noted that Rorick was allegedly so inebriated that his speech was slurred and his eyes were bloodshot. He reportedly told the police that he was too drunk to complete the sobriety test the officers conducted. This wasn't Rorick's first experience with legal matters. In 2013, he won custody of his then two-year-old daughter after a court battle with her mother, a woman named Alana Turner, who was in federal prison at the time. Fans of the British soap opera EastEnders are more than familiar with the character Dirty Den Watts, who was long portrayed by Leslie Grantham. What fans of the soap might not be as familiar with is Watts' criminal history, which includes serving 10 years for murder. As reported by the Daily Mail, Grantham was 19 years old when he robbed a taxi driver, Felix Reese, in December 1966. Grantham brandished a pistol and told Reese to give him his money. The men fought and Reese was shot in the head. Grantham took off running. He was eventually arrested and convicted of murder in April 1967. He was transferred between a number of prisons over the next decade and eventually took up acting at Lay Hill in Gloucestershire. Grantham was able to build his professional life following his time in prison, 
by attending acting school at London's Weber Douglas Academy for Dramatic Art. He again had trouble with the law after he was caught exposing himself over a webcam to an undercover reporter in 2004. While he did not serve jail time for this transgression, the Daily Mail reports that he was fired from East Enders as a result of the scandal. Look, if I'd have known I was going down, I'd have got things better sorted. Perhaps one of the most famous legal cases a soap opera star has been wrapped up in is Lori Loughlin's 2019 college admissions scandal, which has since been dubbed the Varsity Blues scandal. Loughlin, who starred in The Edge of the Night and her husband, Massimo Giannulli, took part in the scandal, allegedly paying $500,000 in bribes so that their daughters, Olivia Jade and Bella, could attend the University of Southern California. The pair ultimately pleaded guilty to fraud, and Lachlan received a sentence of two months in prison before being released in December 2020. In addition to their sentencing, Lachlan's daughters have also been subject to intense public scrutiny for their part in the scheme. A source told Us Weekly that Lachlan wanted to leave her mistakes in the past following her release from prison, and she even made a point of paying tuition for all four years of college for two unnamed students. As Us Weekly noted, the amount Lachlan committed totaled over the $500,000 she and Janouli were accused of using to bribe college officials in the first place. Jensen Buchanan enjoyed a long career in soap operas, including roles on One Life to Live and Another World in addition to stints on General Hospital and As the World Turns. With such a resume, many were surprised when Buchanan was arrested after nearly killing a man in 2016. As reported by the Santa Maria Times, Buchanan was driving on the wrong side of the road with a blood alcohol content over four times the legal limit when she hit another driver and almost killed him. She received a sentence of one year in jail and five years probation. Bradley Asolas, the man she hit, suffered a number of serious injuries from the impact. He sustained severe loss of heart function, broke his pelvis, ruptured his spleen, injured his liver, and sustained a pulmonary embolism. He and his family were even forced to move from their home, as Asolas lost the ability to use the stairs. Buchanan was sent back to jail in January in 2018 after she allegedly violated her probation. In 2014, Days of Our Lives star Freddie Smith was arrested for vehicular assault and driving under the influence. Smith pleaded guilty to the charges and admitted to the judge that he fell asleep behind the wheel, causing a car crash that seriously injured his girlfriend. Smith attributed falling asleep to his state of intoxication and faced up to two years in jail and the suspension of his driver's license. Authorities revealed that Smith's blood alcohol content level was 0.093, which is above the legal limit in Ohio. Both Smith and his girlfriend, Alyssa Tabbitt, were injured after Smith crossed the center line and flipped the car. And Us Weekly reported that Tabbitt was trapped in the car until she could be rescued. Fellow Days co-star Molly Burnett updated fans of the soap star about his condition on her Facebook page soon after the crash. She confirmed the couple was in a serious accident and that Tabbitt was being operated on while Smith had been released. In September 2019, One Life to Live actor Jessica Morris made headlines for a major reason. She was accused of biting the lip off the man she was dating. As TMZ reports, Morris bit the lip of actor Rib Hillis after the two got into a fight. Reportedly, the altercation came about because Hillis was already married to Dancing with the Stars dancer, Elena Grinenko. Hillis later reported that the fight became physical and he ended up in the hospital after Morris bit his lip. A nurse at the hospital reported the incident to the police and Morris was ultimately charged with felony domestic violence with great bodily injury. Hillis added that he didn't intend to get Morris arrested and that he, quote, just wants everyone to heal and get on with their lives. According to Soap Central, Morris turned herself in to authorities following the report made by the nurse. In 2013, All My Children star Aiden Turner found himself in hot water when he was arrested for alleged domestic violence. According to the Daily Mail, Turner was accused of throwing a remote control at his girlfriend at the time, hitting her in the face and giving her a black eye. Despite those claims, Turner's lawyer was able to arrange a plea deal for his client that resulted in Turner pleading no contest to disturbing the peace in exchange for the dropping of the domestic violence charges. He was also sentenced to 52 weeks of domestic violence counseling. Additionally, after a year without any further incidents, 
Turner's initial charge reverted to an infraction. TMZ also shared emotional footage that their camera team captured of Turner following his release from jail. In the footage, Turner appears to hope to make things right, expressing his love to his girlfriend. Sean Kanan, who starred in both General Hospital and The Bold and the Beautiful, was arrested for driving under the influence in August 2007. The actor was arrested for a misdemeanor DUI, as well as having a blood alcohol content level over the California state limit of 0.08%. Kanan was able to post his bail of $30,000, allowing for his release from jail soon after his arrest. He later encountered problems when a warrant was issued for a second arrest after he failed to appear in court. However, his publicist later stated that he was initially unaware of the warrant, and as soon as he found out about it, continued fully complying with authorities. In response, his attorney released a statement saying, Mr. Kanan is complying with the orders of the court. He has been busy working. There was a miscommunication and the warrant was recalled and quashed this morning. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.